Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Danny Matthews. Now today, somebody asked me to create a video specifically about building a portfolio for editing. This is our dear friend here. So you can thank them because they're the ones that motivated me to create this video. So I hope this video is helpful for all of you. Really quick, what is a portfolio for video editing? Well, a video editing portfolio is showcasing work that you have done editing, showcasing to people, and that's how you're gonna get clients. But how do you do this when you have no clients? How do you do this when you have no footage or any of that? I'm gonna show you how. Waking up with the thirst of adrenaline is what I live for. I can't live a life not knowing how far I can push the boundaries. Pushing myself, the thirst for adrenaline, the rush I get going down the track is unlike any other. This is what I live for. All right, guys. So first things first, when you're creating your portfolio, you need to know what on earth are you trying to target? What clientele? Are you trying to do promotional? Are you trying to do weddings? Are you trying to do, you know, are you trying to do like car videos like I just showed you? Once you find a place that where you are in the clientele that you are trying to reach or are already reaching now currently, what you're going to want to do is the best thing is go up on any kind of stock footage place. I went on ArtGrid because it is, in my opinion, very, very great for stock footage. It has high high quality footage and it has like full folders for of stuff. I went to one dude, I found all of this footage and I just took the clips that I wanted and I quickly put this montage together. Now, one thing is for ArcGrid, you, the free version has that ArcGrid watermark as you see in the video. And if you were to download from ArcGrid, you would probably pay about, I think $40 for the month. You get that higher quality footage, which you definitely want to have. And you would just kind of cancel it after that first month, take the footage that you need, create really great portfolio pieces. Next question is how many portfolio pieces do you need to be showcasing to people? I say around three to four. Now you can get clientele with one product. I definitely suggest doing about three or four. Now the reason I say three or four is one says, hey, I've done it before, here I can do it again. And yes, you can get yes, you can get paying clients and I've done it before. Two is like, yeah, you know, I'm still dipping my toes in the water, getting all of that. Three is established, they have three different things to look at and they understand that you are an experienced editor, obviously based upon your great quality of video that you've edited together. And four again is kind of that same space. Once you kind of get more than four, people just don't care. They're not gonna watch it, I'll be honest with you. They're gonna like watch through it like a little bit from each video, get an understanding. All right, you're a great editor, you're not a great editor, and they're gonna move on. So you really wanna make sure that these portfolio pieces are impactful. As for me, I just did it. I literally created a video off ArcGrid in about two hours. It's not portfolio piece worthy, in my opinion, right now at least. Definitely something that you wanna put time into and you wanna have all the layers. I'm talking everything. I'm talking color grading, sound effects, voiceover if applicable, great music, and then make sure that all these cuts are super thought out, guys. Look, you don't have to overthink this thing, but you do have to be, but you do have to take into consideration of how you're cutting it, the whole flow of the video, and how the story is presented. This is what people are gonna look at and they will be engaged and they'll be understanding of this, whether they understand what you did or not in the editing. They're gonna feel what you are trying to convey. So make sure that you're really thoughtful about the editing. Literally, you can take footage off of anywhere. It's so easy to do and you can create any type of video you want. Video editing has the most flexibility when it comes to that. You don't need a camera and you don't need to film anything. So guys, that is how you're gonna create your beautiful portfolio and make Make sure I'm telling you guys take your time on these and really make it shine because this is what's gonna be making the money for you when you present your pitch when you present the video to somebody and they're looking at these videos and they're like alright you know what you're doing these are well done alright guys I hope that this video was helpful for you if you have any questions about this I know it can get confusing but honestly just start at step one make sure you understand your demographic download that stock footage create that beautiful video and present it to them if you got any questions about this guys go ahead and leave it down below and I'll get back to you guys on it and i will see you guys in the next video peace out